of course, you know me as Brian as well. Um, so I haven't been, I haven't done a video for a while now, like three weeks, I think. Um, my previous video was it a was it a Garage Man video? Was it um, a review or I can't remember. But I I thought I'd um, um, get get into this topic that's being discussed on the community chat, um, which uh, J, J Blue J Ray um, Blue Ray J start his channel started. A, a community chat on this. Um, I listened. I, I, I heard. I listened. I watched his video. I watched also um, Mike's video, Gray nineteen fifty one. That's his channel. Um, I, I've watched both of their videos. I haven't watched um, whoever else has responded to this. You know, maybe Harry's responded to this, um, but I haven't looked at his um, channel to see if he if he's responded to this or not. Um, and um, Maca Films, I, I mean, I, at one point, Harry's channel, I think, was called, well, what it was called Harry, Harry um, I mean, uh, Maca Photos, but I think it's been, it's changed to Maca Films. I can't remember. But in, in any event, so this topic was talked about. Um, and I don't know if this video will be a long video, because I, I think I'm going to, I can, I can do this pretty fast, talk about it pretty fast. Um but anyways, it's about I guess movie collecting and um, whether you feel kind of overwhelmed by your collection or do you get rid of, rid of some of your stuff or something like that. So anyways, um, I have a lot of movies. Um, I have no idea. Um, I'm guessing at least a thousand, a thousand five hundred. I'll maybe have two thousand. I, I I think at least two thousand movies. I mean a thousand movies or maybe. Maybe I could safely say a thousand five hundred, maybe even two thousand. Um, a lot of them are criterions. Like I've um, maybe three hundred, four hundred, five hundred criterions. I don't know, something like that. Probably at least three hundred or four hundred, maybe five hundred even, um, because technically that's like half the collection. Maybe it's more like four hundred. I don't know. Like a lot of there's. Some of the, some of a lot of the, um, con, some of a lot of the, con, some of the like, titles that they have a lot of in a particular country is uh, Japan. So the, there's a lot of Japanese titles in, in the Criterion Collection. So I have a lot of Japanese titles. Um, anyways, um, as I've said before, I'm, I'm trying to tra save money for for a trip to Japan, and um, I I I. I I sort of went crazy and bought a lot of Criterions uh, during the Barnes and Noble sale um, because I, I don't know. Um, there was a rumor that Barnes and Noble was quietly going out of business. I don't know how re reliable that rumor is, but um, and uh, so, yeah, so I bought a whole bunch of them, and and um, you know, and then then I bought the Fellini and and the essential Fellini and the. Uh, Ingmar Bergman's cinema box set because they have these, they have uh, books that come with it and they have films that I don't own and, and special features that um, I don't have with the uh, other um, um, single editions of those movies and then other movies that don't have of those, those directors. Um, and I got a few other box sets and I got some Eclipse sets. Um, but I don't really shop that much Um for movies during the year. I, I only do it like technically four times a year, which is um, July and November. I do the Barnes and Noble 50% off Criterion's. And then uh, twice a year, Criterion's own website does a flash sale. They announce it. You have to be like signed up to their website but or newsletter. And they, you get an email. You check your email every day. And if one day they'll send an email to you and they'll say there's a 24 hour flash sale. So I, I, I participated in those too. And those are usually February and October. I think October's never fail. Um, February was la this, pre this year, but the previous year is March. So I, I don't know if Criterion watches the, um, internet activity and, and sees what people are saying on the internet saying like, Oh, you know, like I was putting on maybe some foreign boards or something like that, 
that um, that um, criteria Criterion's going to have a flash sale. I bet in February, so maybe maybe that influenced Criterion and having it in March. I don't know. But but in any event, so that's really the only times I buy from the store, and then the only other times I get DVDs and Blu-rays. I work at a library, so people get rid of their DVDs and Blu-rays, so I get those for free if they, the the librarians don't want to put it in the collection. And then there's a in the basement we have a friends of the library, so they, you know, they sell people's um, DVDs and Blu-rays. So sometimes I, I get get it there, um, but I haven't got. I, I don't. We're we're that friends of the library because of what's happening. The pandemic, we're closed off to the public, so I'm not really. Uh, I don't really take a lot of movies down there, anyways. There's there's a whole bunch of movies I, I don't down there. I, I I I most of the time I don't pick any up up there. Um, maybe every few times a year. So, but anyways, th those DVDs and Blu-rays are like two dollars a piece, or four two dollars for the the DVDs and like four dollars for the Blu-rays. Um, so. Yeah, so I, I I don't know. I mean, I when I used to buy when I started buying DVDs, which is the early two thousands, um, maybe two thousand two, um, I would buy like two to four DVDs a week. Um, some of those being things like Disney releases. You know, they call it the the vault that it's only coming out of the vault for a short period of time. So I would um, I would buy buy it or or you like Pixar movies. Um, the first week they would be cheap, and then the second week they'd go up in price. So I'd be buying them from places like Best Buy or Circuit City. Circuit City, um, I don't know if they're in business anymore, but yeah. So I'd be, I'd be buying things. I, I I bought some other stuff, kind of stuff um, from from those stores, like I don't know the Italian Job a film. I still haven't watched. I have the old one too that I got from the library. Um, but you know, so yeah, uh, other films besides Disney and Pixar stuff that they were selling, you know, the first week I, I would pick up, and um, and, and 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 at that time period, the early two thousands, when I started buying Criterion's, I I would get a lot of them at Borders, who are now out of business, and they didn't really have a good deal on on uh, movies because like, um, well, they'd sell them at full price, so like. Um, uh, a criterion would cost well there were dvds back in those days so maybe they were 40 bucks a piece um because now if you bought them it'd be 20 dollars for a dvd of uh of a criterion but then they had coupons um and it was only like 10 percent off and then the tax when you paid for the item that they had a six percent connecticut sales tax so it really wasn't a good deal and i guess barnes and noble beat them because maybe they were more um, what's that word I'm looking for? Um, more open or more, um, just just more open to the the fact that the online is is a is um is a, is a important way of uh, establishing um a cert a, a, a business service a circuit of business to um collect revenue uh from pay from um customers so they knew the internet was important and that would play a big role and, and i don't know if borders really picked that up i think they maybe wanted to sell things in their store the coupons you know they were like 10 percent for borders and and you know I, I i don't think they played the game very well i think they sort of sunk sunk themselves and uh, barnes and noble played it better and, and barnes and noble has been around since the late 1800s and Borders was just around, I don't know, Walden Books was part of it, but like maybe a few few decades, I don't know. So I, I guess I've covered this enough. Oh, and so so then um, I guess I'll wrap this up by saying um, sometimes I go to my movies and I don't know exactly what to watch because I own so many of them. There's some like I have default watches, you know, like if I don't know, don't want to don't know what to watch, I will watch one that I I just watch as a one that I choose if I don't know what to watch. So like uh, one would be Blade Runner, one would be Fight Club, um, 
maybe the last emperor um you know those some film like that um that's what i would default to you know if i didn't know what to watch um yeah so i i guess i've covered this topic enough um yeah so i i i I, I um I guess Jay said that he, he didn't really mean burnt out. Um, I guess I get I'm putting in the title burnt out, but I I guess I don't take offense, Jay, if what I said you know in the title. Um, it's just um, I just I think I I think I'm kind of satisfied with what I have. I, I I just don't I don't shop as much as I used to, so I'm not really um I'm not really hungering for movies all the time, even though. When these Criterion sales happen at Barnes and Noble, I buy a lot of movies because they're half off, and uh, I'm a member, so I get 10% off. I don't know, but if they're going out of business and, and they weren't honoring the 10% off at the store, and um, I don't know, I I heard on the internet that's that's a signal that they're ha having trouble with their business. I don't know, maybe I'm totally wrong on that. I hope I am. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah. So I, I don't really shop for movies anymore. I'm pr pretty much happy with what I have. And um, yeah, and I, I've learned with the sale buying criterions that maybe I'll have to extend my saving for Japan a little further down the road. So I'll still save. It's just that I can accommodate other things with that saving. Um, so, but anyways. All right, thanks for watching. And um, oh, oh, and, and I'm going to show my... Um, pickups from the Criterion sale. I've got all of my uh, sa um, sale items. I've got all of them uh, sent to me or, or picked up at the Barnes & Noble store that I went to. Um, there's a few other Criterions I bought that weren't in the sale um, that are coming in, in the, during this month of December. So I, I don't know when I'll show those. I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video tonight showing all the um, Criterions I picked up. Or maybe tomorrow or maybe later but be on the lookout I'll, I'll put up a video on that and uh, anyways thanks for watching and i'll shut up now uh bye for now